The Samsung Galaxy S21 Ultra. This was my phone of the year for 2021. When this thing was released, it just absolutely blew me away. But how does that hold up today? That's what we're gonna address in this episode of Tech Rewind, the series where we take a look at devices from the past to see if they're still worth your hard-earned cash. I'm your host, Mark Spurl. Let's put those 10 categories on the board. You know the drill by now. If the S21 Ultra earns 70 points or higher, it'll get my stamp of approval. And if it doesn't, well, you should probably move on and find something else. Let's get this show on the road. Time for Tech Rewind. Category numero uno is design, and man alive does this phone still look good. The first time I had this phone, it was like a matte black color, and don't get me wrong, that thing looked awesome, but I wished for the version that I have now in this phantom silver color. It really pops, and the second the light hits it in the right way, it has this orangey highlight to it. This phone has a lot of cameras on the back that might trigger someone's tripophobia, but I still really like the overall look. It's pretty unique, and the front side is even better. Very minimal bezels, minus that slightly bigger chin at the bottom, and just a tiny little hole punch in the middle for the absolutely fantastic front-facing camera, but more on that later. Now, I've never really been the biggest fan of curved edges on phones, but this one is subtle, tasteful even. And as you'll see later on in the display category, this front side of the phone does absolutely nothing to disappoint. Category two is durability, and that's where we smash this phone off the ground to make sure it can take a licking and keep on ticking. But before we do that though, we should give it a, just a little bit of a bath to test its water resistance claim. Samsung says it has an IP68 certification, meaning it should be able to sit in a pool of water 1.5 meters deep for half an hour. We're not gonna go quite that deep, but we will leave it in for 30 minutes to see if the phone can survive. Half an hour later, the S21 Ultra is perfectly fine, and after a quick drying, it's time for the drop test. Big success, no scratches, no cracks, time to move on. The third category has to do with that display. And like I alluded to earlier, this screen is fantastic. We've got a 6.8 inch 1440p dynamic AMOLED 2X display that runs at 120 Hertz. Now that's a lot of mumbo jumbo for some of you that are a little bit less tech inclined. So what you need to know is that this is a great display with very rich colors and deep contrast that feels very fast when you're switching between your apps and flicking through menus. It also gets up to a peak brightness of 1500 nits with HDR content and it's definitely bright enough for outdoor use in bright sunlight too. I've watched many a TV show on this display and I've always been happy to do so. I've also paired it with a, a gamepad to play a ton of games, both mobile and emulated, and it is like the perfect size for that. It's like a slightly smaller Steam Deck. My only little gripe that I have with this display is actually the coating on it. Over time, that fingerprint resistant coating has worn down a bit, and my naturally greasy hands tends to sully this fine Gorilla Glass surface rather quickly in the run of a day. How about the speakers? Are you fine listening to your favorite YouTubers out loud or should you invest in a pair of Bluetooth headphones? Well, like most phones these days, the S21 Ultra has a pair of stereo speakers, but time has not been kind to them. Even with a thorough cleaning, my S21 Ultra speakers are decent, but not amazing sounding. They're a bit tinny and strangely enough, they only seem to get loud enough at around the 70 to 80% volume range. Listen, they're just fine if you want to listen to the odd TV show or podcast or something, but I'd consider grabbing a, a pair of affordable Bluetooth headphones, perhaps even from the sponsor of this video, Soundcore. This is the Space One, Soundcore's newest affordable over-ear headphones with adaptive noise cancellation. The cups have this floating axis design to conform to your head for maximum comfort, and the pads themselves are very soft. There are 40 millimeter drivers in here for crisp high-res audio that supports LDAC for the most high-quality wireless sound. The Space One is equipped with an upgraded noise canceling system that provides powerful noise cancellation, especially in those mid to high range frequencies. And it's actually stronger at voice reduction than JBL or Sony headphones at the same price point. You can change exactly how much noise cancellation or transparency you want with the five levels of each in the app. I put the headphones on while playing some cafe noises on my surround sound living room setup, and it actually did a great job with canceling out those mid to high frequencies of people talking.
These headphones also have a crazy amount of battery life, up to 40 hours of playback with the noise cancellation on, or 55 hours with the cancellation off. The Soundcore Space Ones come in three different colors, and you can get them today by clicking on the link in the video description below. Category number five, and here's where things starts to get juicy. It's performance time. The S21 Ultra comes with either a Snapdragon 888 or an Exynos 2100. Try and get the 888 if you can. I've heard a little bit of mixed reviews about the Exynos version. My model has 12 gigs of RAM and it still runs just like the day it was released. It's very quick, very snappy with that 120 hertz display and I've had virtually zero bugs related to performance. That's one good thing about a mature product in the tech space. Most of the bugs were ironed out a long time ago. It ran a Geekbench 6 score of 1505 in single core and 3683 in multi-core. And while synthetic benchmarks aren't always the best measure of how well a phone can perform, that's still a pretty decent score. All of my usual games ran perfectly on it with no noticeable frame dips, and I was even able to crank up the resolution of my emulated games in Dolphin without any issues. Super Mario Strikers never looked so good. The sixth category, I'm running out of fingers. The sixth category is software support. And the S21 Ultra will lose a few points here, but nothing major. Samsung did announce that the S21 Ultra would be one of the phones that would be receiving four years of major software releases, meaning it should receive up to Android 15, plus a few extra security updates after that. At the time of this recording, it's still actually running Android 13, meaning it has two major Android updates left before it's left behind. Next up is everybody's favorite, the camera category. The S21 Ultra comes with a ridiculous number of cameras. On the front, there's a 40 megapixel front facing camera. And then on the back, there are four more cameras and a laser autofocus sensor. The zooming capabilities of this camera are still some of the best I've ever seen from a phone. The optical zoom alone is far enough to get close up shots of things that are hundreds of feet away, but it can go even further than that with Samsung's aptly named space zoom. The pictures you can get out of zooming up to 100X start to look more like a watercolor painting than a photo, but even at 30X, the pictures are perfectly usable. And that's just the zoom lens. There are four other cameras on this phone, making it one of the most versatile camera systems on a phone that exists today. The only gripe I have with the camera system nowadays is that it really likes to oversaturate green colors. It does make my plants look extra healthy though, so there's that. Everything else about this camera system is fantastic. The 108 megapixel shots have a ton of detail. The contrast is great. It doesn't look overprocessed, except for green things. And the front-facing camera? I'm convinced that this is the best front-facing camera on a phone that's ever been made. Overall, I'm very impressed with the cameras, even after two years. Number eight is something that everybody wants to know about, and that is battery life. The S21 Ultra comes with a massive 5,000 milliamp hour battery, and when the phone first came out, I was getting incredible battery life. After running our standardized battery test on this two-year-old S21 Ultra, it still had exactly 50% of its battery left, which is nothing short of excellent. It can easily get you through a full day of regular use and even part of another one if you needed to. We are down to the wire now with the ninth category, charging. Now this one was a little bit disappointing to me. While the S21 Ultra does have fast charging, it's limited to a maximum of 25 watts. In my charging test, it went from dead to full in about an hour and 12 minutes. That's faster than I expected given the relatively slow maximum speed, so it must be maintaining that 25 watt charging speed for most of the charging curve. It does also have wireless charging, which gives it an extra point, and reverse wireless charging actually. So if you have a pair of Bluetooth headphones that are dead and they charge wirelessly, you could just slap them onto the back of the phone and they'll charge right on the S21 Ultra. The final and most important category is value. I got this phone on eBay for 480 Canadian dollars or around 350 US doubloons, which is about the going rate for the S21 Ultra in decent condition. That's not cheap, but for what you get, man, that's a pretty great price. I mean, think about everything I just told you in this video, amazing display, excellent performance, phenomenal battery life, one of the best camera systems ever made in a phone, and it's gonna receive the next two major Android updates. If that doesn't deserve at least a nine in the value category, I don't know what does. So after earning a whopping 85 points here on Tech Rewind, the S21 Ultra absolutely earns my stamp of approval. If you have a phone in mind that you want tested here on Tech Rewind, let me know in a comment down below. Hope you liked the video. Thanks for watching and as always, have a great day.